Joseph Fritzl doesn't want the world to see his face. What he did for 24 years in the cellar of the family home is all too well known. This is the tragic story of Elizabeth Fritzl. Now, Elizabeth was born to an Austrian family. Her mother, Rosa Marie, and her father, Joseph Fritzl, would raise her in what most people in their community described as a picture-perfect Austrian family. Only what they didn't know is that in 1967, Mr. Fritzl had been accused and convicted of raping a 24-year-old woman at knife point. At the tender young age of 11 years old, Elizabeth would recount the multiple times her father would molest her and rape her. She would run away at the age of 17 only to be found by authorities and brought back home. On her 18th birthday, her father would lure her down into a doomsday shelter that he was building. And as he lured her down in that basement, he had her help him with one of the doors. Now we're not talking just the basic door, we're talking pin lock doors. There were eight doors in all and the family never went down there. So this was the first time that he had invited someone down there and that person happened to be Elizabeth. Now as he invited Elizabeth down there, he fixes the door, hinges it in place, and then locks Elizabeth in that basement. And that is where she would stay for the next 24 years. Mr. Fritzel would have Elizabeth write a letter stating that she ran off to be a part of a cult. And the most astonishing part is that other people would believe it, the authorities and Elizabeth's own mother. Mr. Joseph would rape Elizabeth repeatedly and he would father seven of her children. One died in infancy and Elizabeth states that he put the baby's body in an incinerator. Now the basement was only but so big so Mr. Fritzel, the mastermind that he thought he was, he put some of the babies into a basket and had Elizabeth write a note asking her mother and him to raise this baby and her mother would also believe that. And what makes matters worse is that the authorities would get involved, social services got involved and they investigated the Fritzl family and they found absolutely nothing wrong with Mr. Joseph Fritzl and Miss Rosa Marie raising their daughter's children. Even though Mr. Joseph had a past history of rape out of the seven children that Elizabeth bore in that basement, Three of them would be raised upstairs with Mrs. Fritzel and Mr. Fritzel. And there were three children, two boys, one girl that were allowed to stay with Elizabeth in the basement. Now, Mr. Fritzel says that he wasn't a monster and he wanted Elizabeth to have someone down there with her. He states that he would often bring her Christmas trees and gifts on her birthday, but Elizabeth said that he would also, whenever he got upset that she didn't act right, he would rape her and molest her in front of the children while they watched. 24 years later, Elizabeth's daughter would fall ill. So he calls 911, they get in the ambulance, they have the girl rush to the hospital. Only when they get there, the hospital staff is completely freaked out. This girl, they don't know what is causing her ailment. She ends up in a coma. Her skin is paper thin and so pale, and she looks completely malnourished. So immediately the hospital staff, they contact the authorities and they let them know this is not normal. And also this woman, this 18 year old woman has no social security card. She has no birth certificate. She has nothing. 
and authorities put out a news report asking Elizabeth to come forward because they had thought that, you know, this was an extreme case of negligence. After the police launched this nationwide search, they put out a news report. Um, Mr. Fritzl starts to feel the heat once more. And Elizabeth is constantly begging him to go be by her daughter's side. So he reluctantly agrees to allow her to go and spend time with her daughter and possibly say her last goodbyes. What he doesn't know is that the police is waiting. The police got tipped off that Elizabeth had come to visit her daughter and they immediately grab her up and start interrogating her. At first, Elizabeth is completely afraid to tell anything because her father has promised her that if she doesn't say anything, that she would see freedom. He even has her sign something stating that. And after hours and hours of being interrogated by the police, she broke and she asked authorities, if I tell you the complete honest to God truth, will you promise me that I never have to see my father again? At that point, police, they're like, okay, yeah, sure. But she spends two hours recounting every day that she lived in that basement and admitting that her father has fathered six kids six living kids with her and one that has passed away in which he got rid of the police order a dna test immediately only to find that elizabeth's story is true her father is 99.9 percent .9 the father of all six kids at this point they put elizabeth and the children um, in witness protection, they have Mr. Fritzl go and unlock the doors to rescue Elizabeth's other children. Because remember, there's two more boys at the bottom of this basement. They arrest Mr. Fritzl and he is charged with rape, incest, murder, the whole nine. He admits to everything. He just says, hey, I'm guilty. And they asked him, why did he do it? And he said, I just really love to rape. I was born to rape and then you know as to clear his conscience he admits that he had his own mother come stay with him and his wife Rosa Marie and that he really hated her for how she treated him during his childhood so he had locked her in the attic of the family home and starved her to death let me know what you guys think about this story my name is Daisha Shakila and thank you for watching like this video and share with someone until next time I'm out